Great threes, it is Miss Mzizi here. I hope that you are all doing well and taking good care of yourselves. Now, in today's lesson, we'll be learning about data handling. Now, what is data handling? Data handling is the process of gathering, recording, and presenting information in the form of graphs or charts. There are, now, there are different types of graphs that we can use to present information. We have picture graphs, we have a tally chart, we also have a bar graph and a pie chart. For this lesson, we're going to focus on one particular type of graph and that is the picture graphs now what is a picture graph a picture graph is a graph that uses pictures or symbols to show compare or count information now let's take a look at an example of a picture graph and let's see what makes up a picture graph now a picture graph always has a title now, title lets us know what we are counting. A picture graph also always has labels. Labels let you know what each section stands for. A picture graph always has a key. Now, a key tells us what each symbol represents. Now, let's use the exact same picture graph to figure out answers to the following questions. How many learners walk to school? Now, first, we need to look at the key. And what our key tells us is that one smiley face equals five learners. Now, to answer our question, we need to look at the walking row. How many smiley faces are there? One, two, Three. But remember, each smiley face equals five learners. Therefore, we need to count in fives. Let's count together. Five, ten, fifteen. Therefore, there are fifteen learners that walk to school. Let's have a look at our next question. How many learners travel to school using the bus? Now we're going to look at the bus row. How many smiley faces are there? One, two, three, four, five, six. But remember, one smiley face equals five learners. Therefore, we need to count in fives. Let's count together. Five, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Therefore, there are 30 learners that use the bus. Our next question is, how many learners travel to school using a car? So we're going to look at our car cart row and how many smiley faces are there? One, two, three, four. But remember, one smiley face equals five learners. So we have to count in fives. Let's count together. Five, 10, 15, 20. Therefore, there are 20 learners that use a car. Our next question is, how many more learners walk than travel using a bike? So we're going to look at two rows. We're going to look at the walking row and the bike row. And we need to figure out how many more smiley faces are in the walking row than in the bike row. And how many are there? There are two smiley faces. But remember, one smiley face equals five learners. So let's count together. 5, 10. Therefore, there are 10 learners that walk and then travel using a bike. Let's take a look at our last question. How many more learners use the bus than a car to travel to school? Let's look at the car row and the bus row. Now, how many smiley faces are in the bus row than in the car row? 
That's right, two smiley faces. But remember, one smiley face equals five. So let's count together. Five, ten. Therefore, there are ten learners that use the bus to travel to school more than the car. Well, that's it from me today, grade threes. Remember, if there are any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and I will respond. From me, Miss Mzizi, goodbye.